Hey everyone, welcome back for some more Season 6 coverage. Ooh, I just love saying that lately. Today we're going to be keeping a watchful eye on our girl's acclimation to her new apartment and surrounding area. Mm-hmm, that's right. We are headed out on the town. No bars with Feline this time. We're heading to Walmart, y'all. Walmart was a common set frequently featured throughout both seasons three and four. Over the past couple years, however, we have seen Amber Lynn turn her nose up at Walmart. She has recently described herself as a TJ Maxx Target kind of gal. Well, maybe the tide has officially turned. Let's get back to our roots. For today's crowning of the Queen Bee, you will need a dozen eggs, the willpower to bend over, and an article of clothing you probably should have gotten rid of years ago. Get it together, girls, because we are organizing our way back into the Amberverse. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. So today I have been a busy bee. I've been trying to unpack more. Um, the internet is still not working here. So I had to call the internet company and they don't even know what's going on. So they're not even going to be here until a couple days from now, like in the morning to like figure it out. Let's get that figured out because I'm... Oh, my nails are so this happens so fast um if you guys ever see them like fixed it's because i touch them up i try to touch them up like every other day but i really just don't have the time and with all that okay so amber lynn has started vlogs off like this in the past this is nothing new when she starts off a vlog like this real rapid fire jumping from idea to idea very quickly like this it tells me that she's anxious and I think with this whole move and getting acclimated to her new state and her new apartment and her new lifestyle, essentially, I think that she is trying to stay, as she put it, a busy little bee because if she sits around and thinks like she normally does. Amber Lynn's someone who likes to sit around and ruminate and think of all these different scenarios that could play out in her head. If she were to do that right now, I don't know if that would be something that she would be able to handle. Normally, she's able to sit around and think like that and be able to cope with it, but I think right now that would be too overwhelming for her. So I think that the alternative here is to get up, get going, organize things, put stuff away, go to the store, put this back, make phone calls, do this, do that, because if you're staying distracted, then you're not sitting around being anxious or panicking. So... Uh, I've seen this before, seen this before. Um, there is that little term that people like to assign to our girl here when uh, she displays some of this kind of behavior. You know, that, that little old word that starts with an M. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that she just, uh, I think she's really anxious and she's trying to distract herself because if she were to do her normal routine, like, sit around and just think all day it, it would get to her too much she wouldn't be able to handle it so I, I think this is an okay way to cope um it's better than sitting around and ruminating that's for sure unpacking i'm doing like they just keep getting messed up but anyways so yeah i hope when the internet people come we can get this fixed because i'm trying to upload another vlog it oh my god it's taken over three hours this time with no wi-fi it's taking forever um, I'm really trying to upload more for you guys and film more, but yeah, it's just been so stressful. This whole internet situation, the moving situation, the breakup, Feline going, like, I don't know how I'm holding up, but I'm holding, I'm holding. See, she just gave us the list of all the things that are going on in her life right now. So if she were to sit around and think about everything, it, it would it would be overwhelming. It would lead to a panic attack, most likely. So this is why she's up doing stuff. She's going to Walmart. She's going to Target. She's going to, uh, what was it, Crest, the, the local grocery store. She's going to Crest. She's doing all this stuff to stay distracted. Is it the best coping mechanism? Probably not, but is it effective? Sure. Okay, so I'm currently trying to get all of my kitchen stuff squared away because it is looking crazy in here. So I'm really focusing on kitchen and living room, trying to get that done. So I'm just looking at like my measuring cups, 
See, I haven't been showing any of like the unpacking process. I just don't know if it like interests people. I don't know. I've just been like, my brain has been. <laughs> Girl, when have you ever cared about whether or not your audience is interested in what you upload? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I just didn't really want to upload that because I wasn't sure if it was going to be well received by my audience. Girl, who are you fooling? <laughs> April 1st is some time away. <laughs> Girl, do your normal routine. We'll take it from here. Just everywhere. Um, I just got done having like a breakdown a little bit. I, I miss Feline. I'm by myself. It's new. It's different. It's definitely not something I've ever experienced but I'm gonna be okay I I know I am because that is literally the only option all right so these are so big I don't know if they're gonna fit you know what I actually really like that I actually really like that because there's two ways you can look at problems in life like this. You can sit around and you can stew and you can get your stomach all churned up into knots and you can be a nervous wreck. Or you can say, well, you know what the end result of this is going to be? I'm going to keep on living. I'm going to keep on surviving because there is no alternative. I have to be okay because that's my only option. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, they fit pretty good. Let me show you. So it fits pretty good. I would say so myself. Um, a little tour. So this is my dishes are in here. I don't have much, don't need much. Literally the only cups that I have. <laughs> And then here is my pots and pans, so. And then in this one, I just have cat food, dog food, things like that. And then here I have some Tupperware. Mm. Now, this may come back later to bite her in the butt, putting all of these cooking utensils low down like this, because any time that Amber Lynn has to do a little bit of extra bending or a little bit of extra movement in order to get a task done, that task usually does not get done. Like we've seen with the harness on Twinkie lately, it is much easier to attach a leash to a dog's collar than it is to dress them up in the harness, make sure it goes through both of their paws, put it on them, attach the leash to the harness, instead of just the collar if there's an extra step for someone who typically gravitates toward a lazier option in life down the line that may come back to haunt them because they're thinking oh gosh all those pots and pans and that skillet it's in the bottom of those drawers and i would have to bend down to get all of them i'd have to bend back up turn the stove on Get all the food out, prepare. It, it, you know what? It's just one extra step. So seriously, seriously, I, I guarantee that this is how some of the thought processes go on. <laughs> so if we're adding in another step like that, I think that it makes options such as cooking at home become more unattractive. Not saying she'll never, you know, not cook at home, but I just feel like if Amber Lynn knew that there wasn't an extra step where she had to bend down and she could just get right to cooking, she would. So in the future, do I think that there will be a scenario where Amber Lynn is on the couch and she's thinking to herself, oh, you know what? I do have that ground beef in the fridge. I could I could do that and some rice. I, but, but you know what? I'm already so comfy on the couch and those pots and pans are on the bottom shelf and I'd have to bend down and get them and do all that. Let's just do burrits. Let's just door dash. That sounds like a better option for me. Honestly, I think that she should maybe just keep the pots and pans eye level or probably just, I don't know, reaching up a little bit. I, I don't know. The bending down like this, this is a slippery slope for our girl. And I don't have anything in there yet. And then this one, I just have like all my plastic containers that I use. Um, I, I'm using a couple. So as I keep unpacking, I'll just 
grab the ones that I need. And then in this, I just have my little air fryer, which in the move, I got all chipped, which is so sad. Y'all, it is time for a snack break. This is the same beef jerk. Oh, let's buy a new one. <laughs> She loves that air fryer. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, this is the Drew Barrymore air fryer and the one that she had before this one she was not a fan of. So when she got this one, she was really head over flats about it. So, oh, it got chipped. Well, I don't know. Is that going to be one of Amber Lynn's first frivolous purchases? Or are we making better decisions in season six? Cautiously optimistic. It got all chipped, which is so sad. Y'all, it is time for a snack break. This is the same beef jerky from my road trip here. I got some peppered beef jerky. It was on my island. I forgot all about it. And I was like, oh my God, that actually sounds so good right now. So I'm going to snack on some of that. All righty. I actually ate the rest of them. They were pretty freaking tasty, not gonna lie. Okay guys, so I'm currently at Walmart. I had to get something. Ooh, she cleared. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's do a before and after. All right, you know what? I mean, I still have some of this left over from the trip. I'll have a few pieces. I mean, I'm having dinner soon. I don't want to get too hungry. Bam! <laughs> oh my. Oh, are we in Walmart? Hey, hey, look at this, Walmart. When she said that she's a busy little bee, she wasn't kidding. At Walmart, I had to get something. Had to get some cat food. And this is the only kind that wasabi can eat because everything else tears up his stomach. I'm looking at the purses because that's just where I naturally gravitate towards. That's kind of cute. I don't know, I never really cared for Walmart purses very much i don't know it's just like well honestly throughout season five amber lynn turned her nose up at walmart a lot um to in her vlogs and on instagram i distinctly remember her saying all throughout season five i'm more of a target and tj maxx kind of girly so i think that amber lynn matriculated from walmart to tj maxx target in her mind but i, I don't know I like Walmart. I shop at Walmart. If I can get something at Walmart for 60 cents cheaper than I can at Target, guess where I'm going to buy it? <laughs> but that's just me. I appreciate a deal. Um, I like that we're back at Walmart. I, I don't know. Humbling? Humbling? Well, honestly, after September's paycheck, which is scheduled to go out in eight days... <laughs> <laughs> and our girl in the uploading maybe four or five times. Maybe we have to shop at Walmart. <laughs> but you know what? We don't need another bag. We don't need another bag. I remember when she was doing the moving, the packing videos and everything. She put all of her purses into that one box. And there were like 15 or 20. And I know some of you girls, some of you girls like your purses and your bags and shoes. I know that some of you girls really like your shoes and everything, but I don't know. Doesn't it ever get to be enough? <laughs> or is this just more, more? <laughs> You're just feeding the void. Who would carry that? Not me. Spoke too soon. I actually think this is adorable. Small to the point. I'm almost tempted to get it. $19, not bad. All right, these are different. There's pink, like a mint purple, and then like this black one. It is kind of cute in a really weird way, but I think I'm just gonna stick to this cutie. Trying on sunglasses, absolutely not. Another big no. I don't think that I'm a sunglasses girly, but these ones are my favorite so far. Okay, so I just got back home and... Um... Uh... I mean, no, but out of all four or five of them, uh, you, know, you know how, like, when you go to vote... Usually it's like you're picking the lesser of two evils. I, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here with the sunglasses. 
<laughs> Definitely not the hexagons. I don't know. Maybe she could pull off an aviator. Maybe. De definitely not this cheetah. This cheetah print or whatever this is. Maybe the aviator of the four. These ones are my favorite so far. Okay, so I just got back home. And I'm trying to think of what I want to do for dinner. I have no idea. We can do like bacon and eggs or some meat i have some tamales burritos salmon i have no idea hmm all right so i decided on some pork chops so i have those in the air fryer this is my first dinner you know what i'm liking the refrigerator for season six a lot better than i liked the season five one i didn't like how she did freezer at the top and this way we get both you know, there's more to look at because normally when we dive into the fridge like this, I don't know, there just feels like, I feel like it's boring, but I, I don't know. There is more to look at in here, although she hasn't bought a lot of groceries yet. I, I sort of like this a little bit better. Let me know. Do you, did you like the split level refrigerator from season five where it was refrigerator freezer on top? Or do you like this, you know, this, this crisscross kind of thing? I like this, this design more. These burritos salmon i have no idea hmm all right so i decided on some pork chops so i have those in the air fryer this is my first dinner that i'm cooking by myself in my new apartment i am doing it y'all i don't mean to jump the gun but i'm just saying i'm just saying we're already air frying something and i know she likes the air fryer it gets the job done yada 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 whatever but those pots and pans being on that bottom shelf down there, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Because when it runs through your head like that and the psychology and psyche of a lazy person, <laughs> that one extra step can be detrimental to the decision that you make for dinner. My first dinner that I'm cooking by myself in my new apartment. I am doing it. Y'all, I'm just sitting in my living room. Eat my dinner, eat my pork chops, which came out beautifully. Because if you guys remember, last time I did pork chops in the air fryer, I over-seasoned them. But now I know how to not do that. Well, anyways, I'm just sitting here, living by myself. I have no internet. I'm just in a new place, new surroundings. And it's just like, it really hit me that like, it's me, myself, and I. Like, this is my place. And I'm having a girl dinner. <laughs> oh, we're going to be having tons of those because earlier... Literally, all I've had today was the beef jerky, which I showed you guys. And then before that, I had a pepper jack, uh, like, string cheese type deal. So, it's like, yeah. I think it's also because I've just been, like, really freaking busy lately. So, it's like, I haven't even thought of eating. I think that's the reason why I'm just naturally losing weight, which feels really good. My bad. Okay. So, now that I've ate, um, had the cats. They had just a little bit left of cat food. But now I'm going to fill up their cat food in the little cat food theme jigger. This guy right here. Need a pair of scissors to open it, and then we pour. It was that easy. And then the rest I'll just put away, and I do the same with Twinkie's food as well. You know what I will say, although this isn't terribly exciting, I am enjoying actually seeing her do something. I mean, I, I don't know. Did, did we see her really do much or interact with the daily uh, chores that involve the two cats and Twinkie? Not really. I mean, there were a few times throughout season five when she weighed Twinkie. And uh, during Vlogmas of last year, they, she did give a lot of airtime to Raritals and uh, playing with the toys and stuff. Um Again, I, I think I still think that Wasabi remains the redheaded stepchild of the three, but I don't know. More pet involvement is usually better. I think that her audience is very um, receptive and welcoming of any anything to do with the pets. I don't know. And getting out, too. But just like a little bit of Walmart content. It kind of gave season three vibes. It's just, I don't know. It's just a nice little breath of fresh air from what we have been dealing with the past two years. I felt like it was a little bit 
claustrophobic, a little bit suffocating back in that old apartment, never going anywhere, never having anything to look forward to, no fun daily routine, no nothing. I I just think that I'm I'm excited to see something new. I mean, maybe this will become mundane very quickly. It it probably will, but for now, for today, I think I'm enjoying myself. And, you know, that's not for nothing. Sometimes you can't always be looking forward a few days or a few months or a few years into the future. You need to enjoy today for what it is. So today, I'm enjoying Amber Lynn pour cat food into this little bucket here that says cat food on it. <laughs> and I implore you to do the same. Well, hello, good morning. It is the next day. Today, my main focus is my closet, my bedroom, and then like my bathroom a little bit because yesterday I just worked and worked and worked on my kitchen and my living room. So that's pretty much done. And since I have the internet people coming tomorrow, I don't want them to show up with boxes and stuff everywhere because they have to come through my bedroom. So I actually just wanted to give like a little tiny update on the pets because I've had people asking, which I totally get it. So I'm looking for that bedroom. I don't think we've, no, I don't think we have seen the bedroom yet. I'm waiting to see the bedroom. You saw me kind of, you know, rubbernecking around. Mm -mm. You hiding something? You just don't want, you're, you're just not ready yet. That's fine. It's fine. I'm just curious. What, am I not allowed to be curious? <laughs> You know what they say about curiosity. So when we first got here, Twinkie was totally fine, sniffing around. Rarity and Wasabi were terrified. Like they would not leave their little thing, which I still haven't uh, put away yet, just in case they want to go back in here. But they would not leave it. They were so scared. They wouldn't move. I was like, oh my God. So it was a couple hours later when they came out, but Wasabi went behind the washer and he was there for five plus hours, terrified. Rarity was hiding behind boxes, like, but um, it was that night when they both came out and started venturing around. So it's officially been three nights that we've been here and they're totally fine. So here's some cute photos. Here's Rarity and Wasabi sleeping next to each other. I thought it was so cute. Oh, laying next to each other. I thought it was super cute. And then here's this little shelf moment where Wasabi found himself a little spot. So I think I'm gonna keep the shelf with nothing on it so he can like lay on there if he wants to. I just thought it was so adorable. I currently am cooking in the air fryer so if you hear that, but right now I'm just about to train. Mm. Mm. More air fryer cooking. Uh, just saying, just saying, hey, hey, I'm picking up on a pattern from an observation I previously made. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Transfer my eggs into its little egg carton. Ta-da! There's a little lid. I much prefer my eggs and that guy. It just looks so cute. Come on now. So I just got back from taking a little twink twink on a walk. But on the walk, I've discovered like, I'm gonna have to like create a whole new route for her because back where we used to live, like we had our route that we took every day, multiple times a day. And now it's like, oh, we have to create something new. So that's gonna be interesting for her and for me. Cause Twinkie is not the one that like, you take her to one spot and then she goes potty. No, she has to like walk for at least 10 minutes, several different spots. That's just what she does. But yeah, right now I'm just making some pork chicken. <laughs> Are you just figuring that out now? A dog needs walked? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. Do dogs like to sniff. Dogs are curious creatures. They like to walk around a little bit. They like to explore their surroundings. <laughs> Most living, breathing entities don't like to remain in one spot forever. <laughs> You know, it's wild. I have this dog, and when I take it outside for a walk, it likes to sniff. It likes to walk around. It likes to form a little route of a, when we go outside. It's it's insane. It's insane. You should see it. 
tops again because I had um, a few left over that I did not cook the, uh, last night. If you guys remember, that's what I had. They were just so tasty and I'm craving protein. So but right after I eat, I am going to go into my closet. That is going to be even more of a focus than my bedroom because I still have so many boxes with clothing in them. And I'm trying to take all of the boxes to recycling. And pretty much all of them are in recycling um, besides the ones with my clothes and the ones with my purses. I am just massively overwhelmed with all my clothing. So I have these. And when Amber Lynn gets massively overwhelmed, and this is this just isn't independent to Amber Lynn Reed. This is for everyone. You know, it sets off her fight or flight response. When she sees a bunch of boxes and this translates into her mind, oh, this is a lot of work, this is a lot of effort, this will probably get me winded. What's the more attractive option? Let's go sit on the couch. And you know what's probably also going through her head? She probably doesn't want to unpack too quickly because if she were to have everything unpacked within a week, we would only see maybe, what, three, four episodes of content that involves unpacking? If she takes three months like she did from July to October to pack up the Kentucky apartment, she'll be able to talk about it for uh, dozens of episodes. So I don't think that she is in a rush. She did mention in the last episode that she would like to have everything unpacked within a week. Do I think that's likely? No. <laughs> so honestly, it's a little bit advantageous in her mind to probably unpack slowly because similar to, similarly to when she organizes her closets when she did it's like oh this is the yes pile this is the maybe pile this is the no pile she did a segment on that for months just organizing her closet like that i mean now with this whole unpacking thing think about it every episode she comes on here she can talk about how busy and stressed she is i i just i still have to unpack i mean you guys you don't understand like this is the first time i've ever done this without any help you, you just have to put yourself in my flats and really envision yourself having to unpack an entire apartment one person like this it's a lot of work so I mean, we'll be hearing this clear into the new year these two big guys then I have my suitcase that I've made a complete disaster. Wasabi's chilling in it. Isn't he the sweetest little guy you've ever seen in your life? Like, look at that. <laughs> and then I have this other one where in the move, y'all, it got so messed up. Like everything is literally stuck. Like it is the craziest thing. So it's gonna be super freaking hard for me to get my clothes out of this. So this one's gonna be not very fun. So I actually, before the move, I got rid of, my God, 50% of my clothes. See, look how, look how messy, look how much more I still have to do. So even though I've gotten rid of a bunch of stuff, like a, like a bunch of clothing, I am still going to, before I hang any piece of article of clothing, I have to really sit there and decide, do I want- Isn't that insane? She's gotten rid of over half of her clothes. And Amber Lynn isn't a cheap clothes shopper either. A lot of what she has comes from Torrid. And a lot of clothes on Torrid are more expensive. I, I mean, I don't know. A pair of pants, $50. T-shirts, like $25, $30. Her, she, isn't, she isn't going out and, you know, buying matte print shirts at Walmart for $4.99. Amber Lynn spends a pretty penny on clothes. Wow, to get rid of all of that. Huh. Huh. Oh my. I mean, I, I just wonder, like, the total amount that she, uh, you know, parted with. But, hmm. This. Do I need this? So, here is number one. I'm so bored. This is a Betsy Johnson shirt. I think it's so adorable. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So she, she's, she held it up and said, okay, we're gonna do this type of technique where I hold something up and I really think to myself, could I see myself wearing this? Do I really need this? And if the answer's no, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and talk about it in another episode. Girl, you've already done this. 
all the clothes that you brought to this apartment should have passed some type of prerequisite when you originally did this. Okay, well, this went into the maybe pile, and this made it to round two, and this t-shirt made it to the semifinals, and I, I wanted to bring this with me because I could see myself wearing this to a pumpkin patch. Will I ever go to a pumpkin patch? Probably not, but it's not impossible. I might. I, see, girl, we've already done this. So now that she has all of the clothes that qualified back in Kentucky, she's going to do the same type of little March Madness tournament out of them again. I'm going to look at it. It's going to go in the maybe pile. It's going to go in the no pile. And then I'm going to make the no's battle each other. And then whoever wins out of, you know, best two out of three, then I'll keep this one. Just so there's more content. <laughs> I, I, I can assure you, this t-shirt that she held up just now, this is not the last time that we're going to see this in the month of October or November where she comes into her closet and starts talking to us about organization. There's no way. But I've only worn it a few times. I think to make my space as peaceful as possible, I need to only keep clothing that I know in my heart that I'm going to wear and enjoy. And this is not one, so. So I'm gonna keep this process up and then I will show you guys my progress in a little bit. All right, you guys. So here are my like jackets, cardigans, sweaters, really long like, maxi dresses, under type shirts, just like t-shirts. And then across the way over here, we have all of my dresses. And you know what? A lot of what she has hung up in that scene that she just showed us, these are a lot of the things that I see her wear in a lot of her vlogs. Like this cookie dough top right here, we've seen this a lot. The mime shirt, we have seen the mime shirt a bit. The camo, we have seen. The mo she does. She does like her stripes. Definitely. A lot of these cardigans, you have this, this like maroon one. A lot of these look familiar. So I don't know, maybe Amber Lynn just has a rotation of like eight to 12 outfits that we, you know, consistently see, but she has all these other clothes that she just doesn't wear, but doesn't want to part with. I mean, a lot of these I, I don't recognize. I mean, like this, for example, with this, this like lip thing with the rainbow tongue coming out i mean this isn't jumping out as something that she's worn a whole lot um i think that this top right here is the one that she wore last halloween when she dressed up as sully from monsters inc this one looks familiar though this this little striped shirt over here but from striped shirt to sully a lot of these this little bracket right here these don't look familiar I don't know. It's just like this woman has so many clothes, but it does. It does. It seems like we see the same rotation of the same eight to 12 outfits. I mean, why hang on to this? I mean, if you like your clothes, you like your clothes, whatever. Across the way over here, we have all of my dresses and these are the clothes that I'm actually going to get rid of. It's just so crazy. Like looking at this pile like, am I just getting rid of majority of my color? I feel like majority of my clothing is darker. I don't know. I kind of just like darker clothing on me. Wasabi was laying here. And now he's going to lay back. So it looks like he found himself another spot. Oh, that was it. I mean, hey, honestly, of, of the vlogs... Uh, you know, that's all I really have the, to compare them to. Of the more recent vlogs, th this was better. This was better. Um, she had a routine or somewhat of a routine around the apartment. She actually did some stuff. She incorporated the pets. Um, we went somewhere. That's that's a really big plus. Um, I'm still remaining cautiously optimistic for season six. Not bad, Amberlynn. Not bad. All right, everyone, we have made a safe and secure landing back on Mother Earth. I would now like to take a moment to thank you for making it to the end of today's adventure. If you enjoyed the journey, please leave a thumbs up, some of your thoughts in the comments, and take the subscribe button to Walmart to look at a new cute purse. This is Jordy blasting off. I will see you next time in the Amberverse.